Hi guys, welcome to Full Life. If you saw my video yesterday, we talked about careers in research and how can you do your PhD from any of the IITs in India. So let me today talk about uh, doing PhD from Indian Institute of Management that is IIMs in India. So let me open a word folder. So this is part two of my careers in research video. Yes. Now, Indian Institute of Management. There are around 20 IIMs in India and they also offer doctoral program now i am typically call their doctoral program as fellow program in in management yes so they call their program as fellow program in fellow program in management and uh, in short it is referred as fpm okay and they also call it phd in 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 management so yes doing your phd from iams will require a lot of academic rigor like iits in india in fact iits and iams they expect a lot of hard work sincere work from all their phd aspirants now as far as iams are concerned they offer phd only in management they don't offer phd in science engineering in other areas but iits they are like umbrella they offer PhD in variety of disciplines. Now most of my students are, for, are from commerce and management background. So I would suggest that if you want to do your PhD from management, either go for IITs or go for IIMs. Now let me talk about IIMs in India. As far as IIMs are concerned, there are certain IIMs which are considered to be very very good. You must have heard about A, B, C that is IIM, uh, Ahmedabad, Bangalore and Calcutta. These are considered to be older IIMs and and they are very much in demand they are very much reputation uh, and the competition there is very tough in fact you really have to work very hard as far as to get into in in ABC as far as ABC is concerned even uh, I am Lucknow is considered to be very very good and what I would suggest that if you are trying to do your PhD focus on this four IIMs but if you can't make make it to these four IIMs what I would suggest even I am Kozi Kode is very good I am Indore is also very good so so all these IIMs are considered to be good and accordingly you can you can uh, apply for any of the PhD program but PhD is only in management now as far as IIMs are concerned, uh, you need to be a post graduate. You need to be a post graduate and po your post graduation could be in any discipline. Yes, it is not necessary that you require to do a PhD in management. You need to have a MBA background or a commerce background. Not necessary. Even a person from science background, arts background, engineering background even they they can do phd in in management so post graduation is the minimum requirement and you need to have at least 55 percent in your post graduation as well as your graduation year in fact you do if you do your phd from any place in india in your graduation and in your post graduation you need to secure at least 55 percent but as far as iams are concerned simply you having a post graduate degree will not get you a seat for their doctoral program you need to have certain you need to crack certain entrance exams so they have certain entrance exam which you need to crack yes they accept other than your uh, uh, post graduation either you need to have a cat score either you need to crack a gmat score or you should be jrf junior research fellow that is net and and uh, uh, GRE so th these are couple of the entrance tests which you need to crack if you want to get a seat in IIM simply post graduation degree will not suffice now many of the commerce and management students they are not very good in numbers and quants and all what I would suggest that GRF net is relatively relatively even that not easy even GRF net is relatively easy compared to CAD, GMAT, GRE one more thing as far as I am Bangalore is concerned if you visit I am Bangalore website they have their own uh, entrance test which is known as IMB test even you can give that but only IM Bangalore has its own entrance test other IMs they will rely on these particular scores so along with your post graduation you need to have have these scores yes now uh, let me take you to IM Bangalore website which is a very popular website so, uh, many people visit 
all this website in fact i would suggest that when in your spare time you should visit the websites of all popular uh, universities and and iims and iits so that you get to know what is happening there in the field of academics and other areas so th this is the website of iim bangalore and if you go on this link program and you just see this the very first link is doctor of philosophy five year full time program yes now if you go here you'll get a link i have i have already down, downloaded the link to save the time let me show you so this is the uh, notification of i am Bang i am bangalore doctoral program which was available on their website and i have just opened it earlier so i am bangalore and in fact all the iims they offer phd in nine broad areas and all this phd will be in phd in management so if you are interested in decision science economic science entrepreneurship or whichever area now most of our students are from finance and accounting marketing ob so you you can take any of the area but your degree will be phd in management management is a very broad discipline and includes all these things now the duration of the program is for 5 years yes now they have mentioned the eligibility criteria what is the eligibility criteria masters degree which i have already mentioned if you are not a masters degree if any of you are willing to do your phd from iims you could also be a ca icws cs so if you are if you are having this qualification then this is not required that's why they have mentioned or and you need to have 50% marks in any of this professional exams and if you see the third link they are saying or a four year eight semesters now as far as our uh, graduation is concerned it is for 3 years and post graduation is for is for additional 2 years now this is for engineering students now engineering students have graduation for 4 years so in 4 years they have 8 semesters so this one is for engineering students so an engineering student science student anybody can offer doctoral program in management that's why the field is open you can choose any area yes now all these other criteria are there uh, their rules are there you can just read it i'm not going to delve into it now let us talk about test scores other than your post graduation you need to have let's say you want to pursue phd in decision sciences either you should be gmat gre cat gate now gate exam is given by engineering people even gre is by i think it is given by engineering people now most of our students from commerce and management background they need to have grf net in this particular discipline itself or not this you can give imb test yes okay so uh, you see uh, all the entrance examination criteria is given but if you want to pursue your phd in ob in hrm area which is very very popular here imb test facility is not there unlike others it means this is a very demanding kind of a uh, discipline and you need to have these score only imb test option is not available for for this so all these things are there you can just read it out now let me talk about the financial support yesterday i was talking about iits Now, Now, as far as IITs are concerned, yesterday I made a mistake that they give you stipend of twenty-eight thousand. I was wrong. Today I checked on their website. Their stipend is is equivalent to thirty-five thousand. They give you thirty-five thousand. Like I am Bangalore is offering its PhD students a stipend of thirty-five thousand rupees per month, and they will give you for five years. Not only this, they will also give you so thirty-five thousand rupees you are getting per month to take care of your living expenditure. Yes, you can spend this money whichever way you want. So in India. you are being subsidized or you are being paid to do research yes so this is a stipend 35000 rupees you will be getting other than this stipend you will be given a dormitory in the campus you will be given lodging boarding food refreshment everything in the campus yes and uh, other than this 35000 rupees stipend per month they have other things which which they give let me go into it so that i make you understand all these things you will get a startup grant of rupees 75000 to purchase laptop computer software all these things you'll be given a contingency grant annual in in years 2 to 5 years of 25000 25000 rupees extra you will be getting to meet your further expenditure then so many other things are there and let me focus on this part other thing you can read it so uh, to attend international conferences you'll be getting a grant of rupees 150000 Yes, if your paper is accepted in in some international conferences like Academy of Management and other international conferences, and also first time you'll get one like fifty thousand, subsequently you'll get seventy five thousand. All these things are there. And how to apply? They will give a link. There is a webinar which you can attend them, and they will give you a lot of guidelines related to it. Yes. So let me come to my word folder. Now I'm sincerely telling you, students, like. 
of my students they don't think of doing uh, or taking a research as a career what i would suggest that please think of taking research as a career research is very very lucrative so uh, after once you complete your your phd or doctoral program in management from any of the iims or iits you have a very good career before yourself the career is yesterday i mentioned it is in teaching it is in consultancy you can have your own you can be an independent researcher helping corporates clients so many people yes you can join corporates yes many many so the 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 uh, the sky would be the limit once you do your phd from from any of the iits and iims which i am mentioning it but if you are doing your phd from professional institutes like iims which i just mentioned in in any of these iims it is not a cherry on the cake it is not an easy walk they expect lot of academic rigor from you yes you simply just can't go and write any paper the focus is the, the they, they ensure that you publish in top rated journals top rated peer review peer reviewed reviewed journals yes and if your performance is not up to the mark they will tell you to pack your bags and go home because there is no free lunch in any of the iims they expect lot of academic rigor from you yes and uh, this program is typically of 5 years so first two years first two years of this program will be a uh, coursework you will be a coursework and subsequent uh, and uh, subsequent years will be remaining to uh, remaining two to three years you you have to write your thesis thesis or what you call as dissertation yes if i have to define in a nutshell what is the doctoral program of ima if i say the this 2 plus 3 years criteria is nothing but if you are doing your phd in management from iims this 2 years you will be getting lot of information related to mba in fact uh, when you are doing your phd from iims you can go to a pgp class or mba class and you can attend lectures of professors there so you get get knowledge of two things mba plus let me see where is the plus you you get a knowledge of research also Yes, so it's a five years program where you'll get knowledge related to MBAs because th this knowledge you'll getting from the coursework as well as you have will be writing your research and publishing your papers in international conferences as well as top rated peer reviewed journals. So thank you so much. I would insist you at least think of making your career into research. Thank you so much for watching Full Life.